If you want to get more information about a Linux command, but you don't want to leave your terminal, well, how are you going to do that? So in this video, we're going to be covering just that. So let's get started. So essentially, there are two ways to get more information about a Linux command. So the first one being the man command. And the man command is a short for manual, which is a built-in command that provides you with the detailed information for any other command. So for example, if you want to learn more about a ls command, in that case, you can just simply type in man ls, and it's going to give you more information about that ls command along with all of the list of uh, options that are there, some arguments, whatever information you want to find out about the ls command, you can find out by using the man ls command. So let's go ahead and try this out on our terminal to see what kind of information we're going to get back. All right, I'm back here in Ubuntu and over here, I'm going to type in man ls in my terminal and we'll see what we're going to get back. So here I'm going to do man ls. And as you can see, we see the screen right over here. And within the screen, we have an option for a manual page ls. And then it's telling you I can press H for more help. So let's do that. So I'm going to press H. So here it's going to give you summary of less commands. So we are basically in this less interface, which allows us to do certain actions over here. So I can either forward one line, uh, backward one line by pressing, let's say, the E, Y. If I want to go back one window, I can uh, type in F. If I want to go back a window, I can type in D. So this is just uh, information for you so that how you can navigate around this window. So I'm going to just press Q here so that I can go back. Now here, let's take a look at what information we're getting back. So you can see right up on the screen, we have the name and it's telling me that LS, it stands for list directory contents. I can get in the synopsis. For example, LS takes an option and it takes, let's say a file information as well. And you can get a little bit more description on the LS command as well. Now here you can see all of the options that I'm seeing. For example, dash A to get all of the entries. And then I can scroll down to see I have a lot more information here, such as I can do dash F, uh, to do some formatting and I can try out different formatting options over here. Maybe let's say dash L for verbose option, which we looked at in one of our previous videos. If I want to print out the files in comma format, I can do dash M. I want to print it out in vertical format, I can do dash C. So there are a lot more options I have over here. I can print out in let's say human readable option and it's telling me you can do that using the dash L or the dash S command. As you can see, this is extremely helpful because now you don't have to go Google the particular Linux command to find more information about it. You can pretty much get all of that information right here. So it's actually going to list out all the information that you have over here. Now, I was telling you about those less commands. So let's say if I type in F over here, it's going to skip a window to the next window, as you can see right here. And if I do B, it's going to go back a window. So I can just quickly test it out something over here. Forward, forward, I can keep going back. And if I want to search for a particular, um, let's say some content, I want to take a look at, hey, is this available over there? So maybe I want to search for, I don't know, format, right? So I'm on the first screen right here. I'm going to search for format. I can just type in forward slash and I can just do format here. And if I hit enter, you can see it's going to show me all of the options that are available with format. So here it's showing me obviously format uh, information, which it has format the, and you can see I have a size format. I can keep it hitting enter here or basically if I'm going to go to the next one, I can tap in space. It's going to go to the next particular options. So I'm going to tap in space again to see what other options it's going to give me. You can see I have a long listing format and pretty much I can see all of the information that I have available over here. So this is kind of a really nice way for me to take a look at any particular thing that I want to learn here on that particular option. So I can do a quick search and I can find it out over here. All right. So in our case, we were looking for this particular thing, format word. So here I found it. And let's say I want to test this out. So it's telling me, okay, if I want to print something out using commas and I want to get all of the files using commas. So maybe something you want to copy this, paste it in some kind of, I don't know, CSV file or something like that. We can do that quite easily. So here I'm going to do LS and then I'm going to do dash M, I believe. And it's going to print it out using commas. If I do just LS, you can notice it's not printing out with commas. This one is actually printing out with commas. And there was another option, which was LS dash L, which will give me pretty much all of this option over here. I can do something called LS dash L dash H, which is going to give me a more human readable option. So if I just hit enter, in this case, you can notice here, like for example, the size of the files, it's giving me, okay, so this is 718 kilobytes instead of giving me this entire long format. So this is, I don't know, maybe helpful. In this case, you know that this is total size. Maybe if you were just reading this, you don't know what this number means. Here you might know, all right, 736 is probably the kilobytes or the size is what we're looking for. So that's why man command is extremely helpful and you, there's a lot of things you can do over here. We just tested out with ls. I can test out with some other command as well. So for example, man cat. So the cat is gonna be, it can concatenate files or you can print something on the standard output, which is what we were doing before. We were, when we were using cat, 
we were providing in the file name and we were printing something out. So here I have more options as well on how that's gonna work in such as um, I can do maybe suppress some repeated empty output lines. I don't wanna print that out so I can suppress them. I wanna display dollar at the end of each line. So maybe we can do that too. So depending on whatever your use case is, you can actually test it out using that. I'm gonna hit Q again so that I can quit this particular screen. Now, one more thing over here is that if I wanna try out a particular command and you get an option that that man command is not available. For example, if I just do man and here I'm gonna type in CD, it's gonna tell you that no manual entry for CD. And if I do something called type CD, it's gonna tell you CD is a shell built-in. So usually you're gonna find that some shell built-in will not have a manual entry. So in this case, how are you gonna go ahead and find more information about it? Well, of course you can Google it, but again, we were talking about not leaving our terminal. So how are we gonna do that in that case? So let's take a look at that. So if you're finding value in this content, please make sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. All right, so in the cases where the man command doesn't work, what we can use instead is something called a help command. Well, help command is another built-in command that provides you with obviously some help on that particular usage of any other command. So in this case, let's say you wanna try out the CD which we were trying at because man CD was not giving us any result. So in this case, I can do help CD and it will provide you some more information on the CD command. So you're probably thinking, well, how do I know if I, sh I should use man or if I, if I should use help? Well, to be honest, the only way you know is you just type it out. So let's say for a particular CD command, you're doing man CD. It tells you there's no manual entry for it. Simply just type in help CD and you're gonna get information on that. So, but trust me, usually whichever way you're going with, there will be at least one where it's gonna give you more information, either with man or either with help. So it's pretty easy. If it doesn't work, just try with the other one. You try trying with help, help doesn't work, you switch to man. So most of the time man is gonna work, but if in some cases man doesn't work, then you can switch to help command. So let's go ahead and test it out with the help command. All right, so I'm back here in our terminal and in our case, we were trying man CD, that didn't work. So now I'm gonna try out help CD and see what we get back. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna notice is this time I'm not into that interface, which was the less command interface. I'm simply seeing all of that information in my terminal. Well, that's what you get with the help command because here you don't really get into that particular interface where you can quickly search for some things, go back to the next screen, previous screen and all of that. Instead, it just prints all of the output out on your terminal just like that. So that's okay. In my case, I can still take a look at all of the information. So you can see it's giving me CD has all of these different options that I can provide, which is quite helpful. And it's telling me, all right, it, I can change the shell working directory. Basically, you use the CD command to switch to some another directory. Now here you have again more information on that particular command and all of those options that were listed over there, you can see over here as well. I can use dash L, I can use dash P for a physical directory structure, dash E, dash at. So there's different options that are available for me over here. So someone who's interested in, let's say this CD command and they wanna learn more about that, they can come over here and quickly print it out. Now, let's say going back to our previous example, if I do help LS, see in this case, it's telling you help LS, there is no help topics that match the LS command. All right, so maybe help doesn't work here. I can try help clear. All right, even that doesn't work. Help clear doesn't work. All right, maybe how about help um, cat? So as you can see, most of the commands doesn't really work with help. So in this case, I can just switch to, let's say man clear and see if it gives me some information. There you go, right? So I can get this information over here. It clears the terminal screen and I can get, let's say, just try out different things, some options, some history as well about that clear command that shows you as well how it started, where it is, and how it was originated basically, which is pretty interesting if you spend some time looking over here. All right, so to quickly review, both man as well as help command are extremely helpful. And specifically when I was starting my career, I didn't really know about a particular Linux command. I would usually always go and Google about it and find out more information, which obviously is still possible, but it's a little bit more time consuming. So when I found out that I can simply just type in man ls or let's say help ls and get more information about that, that was extremely helpful for me because now I can save some, again, some extra time. And remember using the terminal, the whole point is so that you can save your time without having to going through graphical user interface. So that's why using these commands are gonna be extremely helpful. And I was using then, and trust me, I still use it today specifically for like newer commands that I'm not really used to. And even for some of the old commands, if you don't wanna remember all of those different options and arguments and stuff, what you need to pass in, simply just do man, uh, whatever the command name is, and you can get more information about that. That doesn't work, try out with help. So that's it for this video guys. Stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna cover a really important topic in the next terminal and that is how to do navigation. 
while navigating different files, different directories. This is something you're going to be doing pretty much majority of the time when you're going to be working with Linux terminal or in general with command line. So make sure to check out that video whenever it comes out. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support my work, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. It really means a lot and give this video a like. It only takes two minutes, so go ahead and do it right now. And if you're looking to get started in your SDET career, be sure to check out SDET Unicorns Academy, where you will have access to all of the courses. And on top of that, you can reach out to me for direct support if you're stuck during your learning experience. And we also have an amazing community on Discord where people go ahead and ask each other questions. And I'm also available in that community. So if you have a question, you can directly shoot me a message over there. So thanks again for watching. I will see you all in the next one.